Computrain. Good afternoon, a quick pop-up live here on the Computrain YouTube channel. Now, if this works, we're actually putting this out on Facebook this afternoon as well. So good afternoon if you're watching this over on Facebook. So what's this about? Um, the hope today is to raise awareness of the ongoing COVID scam that's doing the rounds. Uh, firstly, what is this all about? Let's explain what to watch out for with the COVID scam and explain how the thing works. And um, yesterday, the 70, here in Scotland, the 70 to 79 year olds uh, age bracket began to receive their notifications for the, the vaccine. Uh, from the NHS. Now, the scamming community, unfortunately, are well aware of this and taking full advantage of this as well. So we have to just want you to be on your guard um, for this scam. So what to watch out for? We're day two. Yesterday, the 70 to 79 year olds began receiving letters and here we are at day two. Already, uh, I've received about half a dozen phone calls in the last two days from customers um, who have been on the phone worried because they've received text me and it's mostly text messages they've received alerts um, and they've perhaps or just fallen short of falling victim so what to watch out for uh, as always the, the 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 scam telephone calls but mostly this covid scam is running on a text message so here's what to watch out for if you receive a text message from supposedly from the NHS telling you that you have to ring this number immediately to to confirm your appointment for your vaccine. First thing is first, assume, if it's a text message, assume that it's a scam because this scam is getting worse uh, and worse. The scamming community, they think it's Christmas. The 70 to 79 year old age bracket uh, are being alerted of these appointments. The scam is relevant, so people are falling victim to this. So you've got to be on your guard. Uh, that is first and foremost. Uh, follow the instructions that you get in your letter, albeit not in the blue envelopes, but uh, if you follow the instructions in the letter that comes through your door, that is the only number that you should call. Uh, so we're looking at half a, do half a dozen phone calls already. The hope is, uh, as I say, we can stop one of you, squeaky chair today, uh, one of you from falling victim. Okay, some useful links we have for you this afternoon. Uh, Trading Scotland, uh, Trading, I beg your pardon, Trading Standard Scotland is a good source for information. Uh, they generally update regularly with the latest scams that are doing the rounds. Uh, NHSinform.scot, of course, is the uh, the Scottish Government website, which will give you all the coronavirus information. And they too uh, have a warning. The NHSinform.scot, uh, they too have a warning on their website, uh, warning people never to give banking details uh, to anybody who asks for them in relation to the vaccine or in relation to coronavirus, full stop, finish. Uh, action fraud, if you want to report a fraud, uh, whether it be for the COVID scam or any other scam for that matter, uh, action fraud, just search for action fraud and there there is a form online. Okay, so what to do if you've fallen victim to a scam? Um, first and foremost, if you have fallen victim to a telephone scam, text scam or any other phishing scam that's doing the rounds, um, if you have inadvertently given out your bank details, your bank card details, or anything like that, first thing to do, first and foremost, call the telephone number on the back of the card. So on the back of your debit card or your credit card, there is a telephone number on there. Call that number immediately and they will forward you to their fraud department who will put a stop to any unusual transactions from your account and they, if you catch it quick enough, they can even reverse recent transactions that have gone out. Uh, so that's the first thing to do. Uh, Consumeradvice.scot uh, website, they have now, they've got an online form uh, on their site. So if you go to consumeradvice.scot, there, there's a link on there, which is an online form, which you can, you can basically report, give the details uh, of the scam that you've just fallen victim to. And by doing so, what they do there, they gather information and collectively they put it together and, again, hopefully uh, preventing anyone else falling victim. 
and, and of course, actionfrauds.police.uk. Uh, uh, you can report on there as well. Uh, so be on your guard. It's uh, just a quick pop-up live here on YouTube. Uh, and I think we'll get out on Facebook as well, uh, which we don't normally do. Uh, we've got one or two on YouTube saying hello, Alex, hello, GT9000, hello. Um, so one or two of you are saying hello on YouTube this afternoon. Uh, but we're not doing all the shout-outs and stuff on this. It was just a quick pop-up live uh, just to raise awareness to the COVID scam again if you receive a text message telephone call relating to the the vaccination first assume just assume it's a scam question it the number you call the only number to call in relation to your vaccination appointment the only number to call is the one on the letter that comes through the door, not from a text message, uh, certainly certainly not from an email, and uh, beware of any telephone scams as well. Okay, that's it, just a quick pop-up live this afternoon, we hope you're all well, and uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching uh, the usual tech bits and pieces uh, here on our YouTube channel, it's youtube.com forward slash computune, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll say bye for now. Computrune on Facebook and online at www.computrune.co.uk